ओके नाउ आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन वेरी गुड कल वाला लेक्चर पड़ेगा ओके आई एम डूइंग आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन एंड सो नो नीड टू वरी अटॉल इफ योर बैटरी डाइड इन लैपटॉप फर्स्ट हाँ सर ओके दिस वे लेट्स गो टू द जीटा पेज ओके द रिपो इज ऑलरेडी हियर डू इट ओके नाउ आई एम राइट ऑन द रिपो ऑन दिस रिपो ओके नाउ आवर एजेंडा इज बेसिकली बैंड एंड डॉस कैलकुलेशन ओके बट आई विल कम बैक दैट इन अ मोमेंट लेट अस फिनिश ऑल सार्ट ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ये स्टडी वी एक्सटेंसिवली कवर द स्ट्रक्चरल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड अदर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इंक्लूड के पॉइंट ग्रीड काइनेटिक इनर्जी कट ऑफ एंड वॉल्यूम एंड वॉल्यूम ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इज पार्टिकुलरली नीडेड when your unit cell is not cubic okay when unit cell is not cubic then volume optimization is needed and in that case what we will do we will proportionally expand or contract the unit cell and see the kinetic see the total energy this is what we will do and i will cover the, these files are there let me show you e card right here and the pdf value is here finally uh, let us see one by one file okay before i hope <coughs> can you see that file otherwise i will make little bigger screen yeah maybe it is visible now this is the slurom file that we used it extensively yesterday and the most of the meanings are same today also okay this part and we are loading the module here for quantum espresso 7.0 version and yesterday there was elat.ss but today here e cutoff.ss file okay the file name is different today so this is the rounded slurm file and if you have any difficulty let me know now let's go to the e cutoff.ss file now how it is constructed once you understand there is very easy letter on to run and this is the bas basel type of um, cell scripting and this is my acknowledgement notice and here also i am running from 15 calculations okay yesterday it was 25 because different kind of optimization we were doing today it is a kinetic energy cut off optimization so 15 calculation is okay in general and i am going by 5 yesterday i am going by minus 3% to plus 3% but here there is no such things you start from 40 read work and go all the way up to 110 read work for kinetic energy cut off what happen is if you put small kinetic energy cut off then your calculation will faster but you compromise the accuracy okay you compromise the accuracy but calculation will faster but when you take a large value of kinetic energy cut off your results are more accurate but your computation is very expensive therefore we we have to find out the middle point this is what we are doing here okay middle point and one calculation is enough for that one sort of like this calculation we can choose the correct value and then we will proceed the rest of the calculation therefore it saves time it or the this is kind of pre pre calculation basically not a production calculation therefore and here in the, the the control section is mostly same like yesterday because system is same because i am taking again silicon only thing is that yesterday we were passing variable on this value okay because cdm1 was the variable yesterday today i took that proper value of cdm1 from the yesterday's calculation and i kept it here and i am taking this value today as a variable so the first value starts from 40 let me go in back to here okay e cut the first value of e cut is 40 because the m value first value of m is 0 that means you start you are starting kinetic energy cut off from 40 read work okay 
and then going all the way up to 110. How do, do I know 110? 15 5 is 70 plus 40. That is 110. Okay, this is simple math. Even class 2 students can do. And yesterday I am surprised that um, Arun Sar's son can tell multiplication table up to 19. I asked him, can you tell up to 9? Then he said, no sir, I tell up to 19. I am shocked basically. <laughs> so this is even not a class 2 level math, class 1 level math in nature. Okay, so this is simple math, but I am doing it with a calculator. And the rest of the part is same in your this script. And possibly this part is also same. Okay, MPI run, da da da. And in this case, I am collecting E cut and total energy. Yesterday I was collecting L at and total energy. If you check yesterday's script, today I am collect under line number 52. I am collecting this and dumping on the E total that file. Okay, this is what it is. So you know the actual script. This is the main part of the code, the kinetic energy cutoff. Let's check the plot script. Possibly plot script also I have made you ready so that you don't need to write your plot anyway. So this is the plotting script. It starts from line number 19 by defining a canvas and its font type and font size and uh, what kind of canvas you want. You want post script file and color with uh, color, fancy color. And basically the actual plot command is here. You are plotting it or dot that. U means using if you are not familiar with G and U plot. And 1 is to 2 means column 2 versus column 1. Okay. In column 2 there is total energy. In column 1 there is the kinetic energy cutoff. Okay. Of that E to dot dot file which is right here. And W means with. ELP means line end point. It, it will actually put those balls where the data is there and then connect the balls by a line also. Okay. And then finally, it changed the PS file because in window it is difficult to read PS file. There is very complicated software and I don't like that. So I converted this by the um, PDF uh, file, by PS to PDF. It is an inbuilt command in Linux. And I am removing, deleting the PS file finally. Okay, this is what the script is all about. I will not go such detail in another case. Okay, you have to figure out. And the PDF file you already saw in previous case. Let me check one more time. Ah, retry. Where is the retry button? Here. Let me do it again. Maybe because of slightly slow on the internet, it is giving trouble. <laughs> Or you have already seen anyway. Let's save it somewhere. Okay, good. Yes, this is the file you, which you already have seen. So th this is. So I told you that around 80 is okay, right? Or if you cannot commit that much computing, you can choose either 55 around for your kinetic energy cutoff, because there is very little change in the total energy. Although graph looks really zigzag and sharp downward falling, but the value is not that uh, suggesting that way. So uh, this is how it works. Okay. So you know everything about etot, and the one important thing is when you clone this report, don't forget to CS mode A plus X the actual SS file. Okay, otherwise it will not run. That is the one thing you have to note. Let's go back to Himachal and read the another repo. kpoints.sh is here. And there is also slurum file. I am not telling anything about slurum file this time. Or, or at least I can see what it is. Okay, I think essentially same. And this time I am running different scripts okay, here because I am giving a flavor of a script file to the actual calculation what I am doing. Yesterday it was alad.sh. And for energy, it was uh, ecot.sh. And for k point optimization, I am giving k points.sh file name so that it will give you some vibe of the um, calculation as well. And k point.sh is here. It is a very simple script. Basically, 
here maybe yeah, this script is little bit uh, advanced than earlier script okay in earlier script the increment was by one number number one but here increment was by two so i am starting from two 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 grid and going all the way up to 16 16 16 grid that is very dense by increment of two that is the meaning of these three numbers here the starting value is two final value is 16 and your increment is 2. Earlier it was 1 and I have done some multiplication later on. But here I am directly putting that um, um, increment value also here. So therefore this script is slightly different. But it is more shortcut, very terse script. And where I am passing this, that value, here. In the K point grid, instead of giving direct hard coded number like 888 or 886 kind of value, I am passing the variables here. Okay, so that it will catch according to changes according to the loop. And other parts also same. Now what on the final result what I want is the first column is K point, the first value of K point grid and the second column is total energy. This will be written on the etot.dat file. So you have to dump according to the requirement to the etot.dat file. Or you can even change this file name for your convenience if you do not like this name. Okay, it is all up to you because I have given you everything what I have. Okay, so you know the script now, how it is functioning. And plotting script also same, very similar basically, not quite same. Here the canvas has been defined in line number 9. And the output file is given kgrid.ps file name. This is a postscript file. And here I should have write with two. Later on you need to change it, okay? Because the in script it is starting from two. There is slight mismatch here. You can note this and change accordingly later on. And the maximum value is 16 as usual. It is not conflicting with other value. And here I am labeling x axis as k grid, y axis as total energy. And in along the y axis I am writing five digits after the decimal. This is the formatting of Y script and it follows the C language type of style okay, for format. If you know C language, programming language, because this style is C language style, not Fortran. And I am defining a line type. This is more fancy way in GNU plot. If you don't define, it will choose very default, difficult default value and that doesn't look very nice. So I overwrite that style. What it says is set style line, line 1 means line number, style number 1 of line type is like this. Line type is 1, that means solid line. LW means line width is 3, this is more thicker line. PT means point type 6, that means open circle. PS means point size 2, little bigger point. LC means line color. RGB means red, green, blue. Okay. And the actual color is blue. This is how I am de defining a style of line that I will use later on in the canvas to plot. And the actual plot command is this line number 24. Okay. And again, I am changing that PS file into PDF file and then deleting the PS file. This is how I am doing. And what remains? And uh, here is the PDF file. Hopefully it will, I don't need to download this time, but let's see. Okay, good. You see, I, I already showed you this plot. So if you check carefully, even 6 is okay. 666 six, six grid is also okay in energy, right? 8 is better and you don't need to go beyond it because there is no change in energy at all after increasing. That is just a wastage of resources and time basically. Uh, from 444 to 888, the computing time is 8 times slower because 2 into 2 into 2 uh, for 4 into 4 into 4 how much? 64 right and 8 into 8 into 8 is 512 so this is 8 times slower that means huge computing is there going from 4 to 8 because it's a cube that, that is why you, you have to be careful and from going to 16 that's a beyond imagination how much slow the calculation will be, okay? 
So you have to wisely choose. That's why we are doing this one-time testing here. It is called convergence test anyway. Okay, so you know the key points things. Now let's go to the volume. Volume is very new, new concept, newly added in the repo. I just added yesterday. Shall we, shall we uh, ask them for any doubt? Uh, yeah, any questions so far? Any questions so far, if there is any doubt? If you have doubt, let me know, okay? Or you might have seen this brand new and you may not have any question. Aap, that is also okay. Aapko ye samaj aara hai, hum kar kyu hai? Why are we doing this convergence tests? Convergence test hai na ye? Ye hum kis ke liye kar rahe hai? Aapko samaj aaya? Kisi ko aaya to batao shabash. Ye kisi ka question hai. So why we need to do E versus K, right? Ya E versus E cut off. So basically what we need to do is we are doing, uh, you know, we are, we are calculating properties of any material. So they should not depend upon what computational parameters are we using. Wo code pe nirbhar nahi karni chahi. Copper hai to wo copper hai, right? It is the system of nature. And we are trying to describe it using certain theory. So parameters which we take in our theoretical model should not affect the properties of the system. So we are trying to see play with different computational parameters and see ki bhai kaun si value of parameter ke liye say total energy is independent of that parameter for example k points sir abhi bata rahe hai ye jo graph aap dekh rahe ho na wo chala gaya abhi sab dikhayenge so k point means ab kitne jo main subah bata raha tha na central equation hamare paas hoti hai right so central equation jab aap likhte ho to you need to find out fourier coefficients ck's so at how many points in the brillium zone, you are solving the Goncham equations, right? So, at more, more be the number of points at which you are solving those equations, higher will be the accuracy, but slower will be the calculation, because in that case, central equation will be, you know, something like, say, if you are taking 64 k points, so then you would be having large six, uh, number of uh, Fourier coefficient, 64 uh, set of equation, a linear equation of 64 variables. So, it complicated. Hoga. So, hum pe kya ensure karna cha rahe? we are trying to do an optimization. Ki total energy pehle kam k points ko leke calculate karte hain, phir thoda badate hain, phir thoda aur badate hain, aur us extent tak k points leke jate hain, jiske baad meri total energy k point pe depend nahi karegi bahut zyada, aur most like flat karba jayegi. Iska matlab now, even if I increase the k points, total energy won't be differing much. So, I can safely choose those many K points, kam se kam point, jiske baad energy bahut zada bhi nahi kar rahi hai. So, K point is one such parameter. Similarly, E cut off, energy cut off, sir ne bataya, wo ek dousra parameter hai. Is tarah kuch kuch key parameters hote hain, jin ko dal ke hume convergence tests karne padenge. So, har system ke liye shuru mein ek baar karna hai, once you got those parameters, ki ye ye parameters sahi hain, then you can go further for calculating the properties. Clear? ठीक है? तो जब भी जो भी system कर रहे हैं, convergence tests are must. कम के points के साथ मान लो result आ गया, कुछ fancy कुछ भी आ गया, it may not be actual physics, actual results नहीं भी हो सकते हैं वो. तो ये ensure आपने करना होते हैं, किसी भी calculation में करने से पहले. ठीक है? Okay, let me add in a geographical scenario. Suppose you have to go Ambala from here. And but by taking a wrong path, you reached Pathan Court, let's say, complete opposite. Mm -hmm. So you returned from Pathan Court, again came back here and went to Ambala. Instead of Pathan Court, you realize that in Hamirpur, you realize that I am taking the wrong way. So better return from Hamirpur than reaching from Pathan Court, returning from Pathan Court, okay? Because you have to go on opposite direction. But even if you are very clever, then you will return just after you drive one minute, wrong path, and then you return from one kilometer. That is more better. Efficient way to fix the wrong path. Then you will fix the wrong path with calculations. Let me add something to it. Actually, initially I am working on uh, uh, gold nanowires in the beginning. 
and what I did, I have, uh, I did calculation with the uh, say 10 by 1 by 1 k points, but periodicity along z axis, periodicity of the wire is along z axis and I have chosen the k points, large number of k points uh, along x axis, that is 10 by 1 by 1 and I got magnetism there. That fascinating property. Fascinating property. So you may find out uh, such fascinating things. When I start looking at that, that how magnetism is occurring, even that paper is published. <laughs> in some conference. In some conference, right? That is published. But when I redo the calculation, because it's my initial phase, when I redo that those calculations, I thought magnetism is not there. What's happening? I struggled around about for six months. Then I got, then I found that I have taken wrong k points. So that means it should be 1 by 1 by 10. So that means choice of these parameters and their convergences play a very important role. Another thing which I want to share with you, if you want to go for simple, right, say, uh, if you want to study the magnetic properties, there are pseudo-potentials, which are simple plain pseudo-potentials. Then other, another choice is spin polarized pseudo-potentials. There is another very important choice that is relativistic pseudo-potentials. When we talk in terms of relativity, that means relativity automatically incorporates spin orbit coupling or spin. Need not to worry about anything else. So that means we are solving Schrodinger wave equation relativistically, means draft formulation built in in our codes, right sir? Yes sir. Yeah. So that means better you should have relativistic pseudo-potentials. So when you have to do calculation for the spin orbit coupling, then relativistic pseudo-potential should be there. So you must know that how to generate your own pseudo-potential, whether it is a quantum espresso or it is a other code. Because sometimes relativistic pseudo potential is not there. So this I want to share with you. I think now Dr. Adhikari can continue. Yeah, now the line has been resumed. So we are little, uh, we have no worry of battery down in the laptop. So let us uh, at least work with me the volume optimization case, okay? Because we haven't done such optimization before and all the it is very new kind of addition to this repo also. Let's examine this. Okay. Uh, there is slight mistake in the... Um, uh, or is okay. Let me just do it. Let it be. So I don't need to do anything. And in this particular calculation, you will be using GPU, which is uh, the award from me to NVIDIA, and I have donated this supercomputer center, Kathmandu University. Yeah, it is your first calculation in GPU possibly, because I am loading the GPU model here, okay? And I am not exaggerating, the calculation is around 100 times faster than the one you did yesterday, 100 times faster, okay? So it's a crazy faster calculation because everything is ready you just have to do submit the job and uh, for that I need to suspend some of the jobs here because these are already there this is you don't need to worry okay what I do right now <laughs> First, you do the CS mode to volume.ss file. Okay. 
جان آه This calculation will finish in a snap, actually. Done? Yeah, done. <laughs> oh, great. So GPU-based calculations are really very fast. Is Yesterday it, it took around five, four, five minutes GPU for that twenty-five calculations. Okay. Quantum express. Is sixteen calculation ki hai aapne? Karibun. In fact, sir, it can show them okay. output file. ओके यस आउटपुट फाइल में टाइम प्रिंट करता है ना वो हां हां और एक जो जीपी वाली है उसका भी आउटपुट दिखाना तभी हमें पता चलेगा कि कैसा है सर कोई भी एक आउटपुट फाइल देख लीजिए आई थिंक इफ यू वांट टू परचेस अ लैपटॉप देन गो फॉर एन वीडिया ग्राफिक कार्ड दैट सपोर्टेड वो ऐसा क्या है इसमें ये नहीं दिखा दो पहले वॉल्यूम देख लेता हूं सर नहीं मैं क्वांट हां अच्छा कोई एरर एरर आ गया सर इसमें वॉल्यूम आ गया एनर्जी का कॉलम नहीं दिखा मैं देख सकता हूँ क्या सकते हैं उसमें नहीं है इसका तो देख लेते हैं क्या सकते हैं इसका Let me do one more thing, okay? Slightly changes. I will do right on the repo. So please download that repo again. That is a small mistake, especially on the volume part, because I am using GPU, but GPU was not type of command was not included. So kindly uh, reclone, okay? Delete that email folder and reclone, okay? Ah, oh, okay. It is already there, but let me make it more clear. I can see this and this. Do a small thing because it can be done in both ways. Just comment and uncomment thing. But it may be if if you are not good in VIM command, then you have to download the new repo. Okay, recolon. Otherwise, you can just comment this line number fifty-five and uncomment the line number sixty-six. Okay, in your cal. That volume dot ss file. This line is for basically running on GPU. There is no MPI run required, and this line is for CPU type of calculation. So I did that mistake okay, initially. So it is up to you whether you want to recolon or change the line. Comment this line and uncomment this line. Initially, this line is uncommented, and line fifty six was commented. Okay, so I swap now. It is ready for the GPU calculation. It is up to you, whatever you want to do. Ah, 
I will basically do comment on comment stuff here. Yeah, this line I am commenting by assign, and this line I am on commenting now. So it will run on GPU. Serial? Uh, without MPHL? Without MPHL, serial. But even then it is faster? Yeah. Yes, it is running. So can we tell from here it is running on GPU or not? Ah, uh, yes, sir. SQ, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I will show you uh, what happened when calculations run on GPU. Th there is a GPU activation instruction command. Yeah. In your output somewhere very beginning on the top part. If you see this thing, that means it is surely running on GPU. Okay, GPU acceleration is active. So the word acceleration means it is not running, it is accelerating. That means it has changing velocity. Okay, so this is called accelerator, not a speeder. <laughs> so that word is also has some good meaning here. It's accelerating. Calculation is accelerating. So yes, now we have see all the all the columns. First column is your uh, L A value, and second column is your C value. They are changing on the same proportion, okay? And the last column is total energy in this E tot, and there is volume dot dot is also there. And you may see live also. Uh, although my calculation is running, your turn will come in a while. It will keep on populating uh, slowly. I am checking live. TL space minus F will give you the live status. Possibly it might have been finished by the way. Let me see. Oh, okay. It is my calculation is running. Okay. After this. Okay, let it run and <coughs> once you submitted job, let us go back to our um, uh, repository and see the today's agenda properly, okay? Because I hope you have enjoyed the volume optimization, how it can be done in a, with a script and on a GPU as well. So today's agenda is, let us cover first density of state, okay? I will tell you how we can do density of state. The first file is here we are not running so many calculations. We are running only two calculations or basically three calculations, not more than that. Okay? So here there is no bash script at all in this part because we already finish our optimization cases that requires the bash script because that requires so many pre-calculations to check which parameters are correct and which are not correct or where we should not go beyond this value. Okay, so control is here and uh, especially please note number this line is commented here, okay, because we need the value, uh, wave function and potential data later on, the, that's why I commented this line here, but in optimization we don't need this, we can uncomment this line. <coughs> and in system, what I did is, this is my optimized band. N number of L at okay the CLDM one is L at now I am going back to silicon case okay but that volume is only for the gallium nitride not for silicon okay be careful and then there is no other variable just I took this value and I am done Th this is not a script at all this is just the pure uh, input file for quantum espresso okay and here what I am doing is 888111 okay please note in dos calculation we change only this value and the calculation type first we do scf calculation then we do nscf calculation with a higher k grid including the gamma point that is the changes required so we do two two pw calculation and one actual dos calculation so are you any question with this kind of things the steps is first you do 
self consistent calculation with excluding gamma point then you do non self consistent calculation including gamma point but much denser k grid now i will show you nscf.in file in the meantime volume optimization is also going on so let it go computer will go yeah this is the change here calculation type is changed to nscf non self consistent okay this is one change that we have done here and other change is all the way down right here you see it's a crazy dense k point 16 16 16 0 0 0 much denser than earlier case so this is how we do first scf then nscf but doing nscf you have to think two things in mind uh, basically one thing for nscf you have to choose denser k point and you have to include the gamma point okay when i write 0 0 here that means i am including the gamma point in the brillouin zone and the obviously this is the eight times denser grid Eight times denser, okay, not two, eight, because two into two into two is eight. So this grid is eight times denser. That means two times in one direction. So it is much denser K grid than the earlier case. So this is how we will do. And others are very. And, and the last input file is dos dot n, where we actually do the dos calculation is from with the help of this file. Okay, this is very simple file, just seven line. Just seven line high. Extremely small input requirement is re required. First, like end input, you have end dos. Only one block of um, instruction is here. Out directory is dot slash means right here. And yan gauss is equal to minus one. There are few other values of of this. So I am choosing uh, Marjorie Vanderbilt type of spreading. And d gauss, that is the value of d gauss, is 0.05, and delta e is the how much energy step you want, means that is in electron volt. Okay, delta e is in ele electron volt, which is in number five, but value of d gauss is in Rydberg again. So they have different unit. Okay, you need to take care of this thing. And field dos is where it stores the calculated density of state data. In the field dot dos file. Like ESI dot dos is the file name here, that output file name. The first column will be delta E energy. Second column will be the dos, and third column will be integrated dos. That means cumulative dos is the third column. Okay. So this file has two, three values. Okay. Let me see my calculation is finished or not, or how many of oh, my again hang this terminal. Okay, let's do, let's log in again. No worry. Ah, broken pipe already. Good. Minus capital X. And I will enter it. Yes, we see that K. Okay. I am re-logging. Okay, to the supercomputer because I disconnected. So so far. Hima one's calculation is running for the volume optimization, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven other calculations are in pending. Okay, good. You are doing great job. So all we are doing volume optimization. Now I would like to go storage zero folder, and then day three folder possibly. I don't know what is your part, and go to Hima cell, and go to DOS. So now I am conducting a DOS calculation. Okay. So since dot DOS calculation is performed on another partition in CPU node, I should not wait in a queue. It will go instantly. Let me check run dot slurm file once, just to verify here. So I am using four CPU cores. Okay, here. So it doesn't take more than five minutes or more than two minutes basically. But I am requesting fifteen minutes here. Just in case something happened and I need to kick it out by the system, so let's run it. Uh, 
Yes, I just here you don't because you don't have any executable file here, and you don't use any script. You don't need to see as more for DOS calculation, okay? Because on those things we are running through a script, so a script should be executable. So here only executable is pw.x that or dos.x that comes from the quantum espresso module. So the job submission is yes by the run dot slurum. And let me check. Yes, my calculation is running right here at the C node two well. Okay. Uh, it is running on quad partition. This is another different partition of okay, in supercomputer. And it doesn't take much time basically. I think I am done. Yes, my calculation is finished within a few seconds. Let me show you how fast it has been done. When you say tail dot out, it took only five seconds to run. Just five seconds. But NSCF might have a little longer time because the grid was dense. Okay, let's check NSCF time. Yeah, in ten second. So this is not that much time, in fact. But do not over excited of this. Okay, in some calculation it take more than seventy two hours if you increase the number of atoms and defects or little higher k grids we require some kind of those kind of in especially in metallic calculation we need more k points in defect there will be obviously lot of atoms because we have to incorporate the defect or vacancies and there are certain cases like in hetero structure you need even crazy number of more than 100 number of atoms that will take uh, a lot of time more than 10 days even with you deploy 100 cpus so don't be over excited because of this 10 second right here, okay? Because we are calculating only two atoms. And that's why, okay, now our, uh, just use, take GNU plot, uh, plot script is here. Ah, yes, very good. I have already plot script also, by the way, here, okay? In the DOS, DOS folder. So just do GNU plot, DOS dot plot. So it will render the plot. Now I render the plot. Let me see it graphically. Yes. Network me. So this is the density of this data right in front of you. Okay. Basically, nice. <laughs> yes. So in this DOS calcul DOS plotting, when you plot DOS, you you should not show the, your uh, unit in y axis, okay? Because this is taken as arbitrary unit. Because number has almost no meaning here. You have to identify the relative height of the peaks are okay here. And possibly you, you can see a small dotted line here. That line is at the zero. Zero energy. Zero energy means balance band maximum. I am offsetting the balance band maximum to zero energy, okay? So this dotted line uh, right here is, is not the actual zero, but it is the balance band maximum. And this is, there is a clear gap between zero to 0 0.5 
okay so this indicates it is a semiconductor because band gap is around 0.5 this is underestimated by the dft calculation okay generally you have to understand this thing and this will reflect later on in, in band calculation also so let us complete this all of you band calculation volume calculation forget about right now and you can analyze in the evening yourself if there is something then we will cover tomorrow session but let us focus and if you have any problem i will come to your desk there ek bar ghumte hain sir fir isko pause ha sir pass kar dijiye so in order to make session alive first you are going inside the dot sss folder and creating a file using this command bin space config okay and then you will hit enter and press i and paste that uh, text what i just sent you in a whatsapp messaging okay let me see and i will do and your username should be different okay because i am using my username on that message your username will be him as something some number and all other content remains the same let me show you host host sarkan and later sir case sensitive by the way host sarkan and you may not give is space in that tab okay but uh, just to make Oh, okay now the host name is there next is host name host name right spc.ku.edu.np and that is the host name and next is port port is 22 that is 22 is the default port of sss okay Twenty-two, and next is user. Okay, okay. I'm doing a technical work. Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, recording. Okay. I'm doing a 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 recording. और लॉग लेवल आप इसके भी कर सकते हैं ऑनलाइन उतना जरूरी नहीं है और कंप्रेशन यस करने से क्या होता है कि डाटा फास्टर ट्रांसफर होता है ऑन द फ्लाई में कंप्रेस करके भेजता है सो इट विल टेक वेरी लिटिल बैंड वेट स्पेशली वेन वी आर वर्किंग विथ सेल फोन डेटा दिस लाइन इज स्पेशली इम्पोर्टेंट ओके कॉम्प्रेशन इज गल टू यस If you are using LAN at the home or at the university, you don't need that flag. But cell phone is very important compression. So I am not using debug things that is not required. And uh, X forward, X forward, X eleven is is yes. So that you don't need to put minus X option when you do that. And then last is server alive interval. Server alive interval and yes, a I R capital letter. Okay. That means sixty means second in the unit of second. If if your internet is even. Uh, You want little faster, th then you can decrease or to forty-five also or thirty second also. Okay, but that is little crazy. But sixty second is a de decent value for this one. So these are the minimum things you need to put on your config file inside the dot sss folder. Okay, le let me show you how how it impacts now.
and let us check also this uh, turn on do not turn off your um, uh, art spot connection and let's go, go for t and come back and check whether your session is disconnected okay so this will be a good test also to this thing let me do that too now you have to connect with your host name okay sarkan sarkan is the name of suno leopard in the serpa language in nepal so we have given this name to the supercomputer also as well सर ये कौन सा फोन से कनेक्टेड था सर ये अभी है इसका फोन आर्टिस पर इट विल बी अ गुड टेस्ट एज वेल बिकॉज लेटेस्ट की सेशन एलाइव इन कॉम बैक ओके दिस विल बी अ गुड टेस्ट आई होप योर सेशन विल एलाइव इन इट Welcome back to the session again. Now we are covering how to do recording on it. Ah, ah, sir. Okay. okay. I hope you have already downloaded the face repo from the GitHub. So log into the supercomputer and we will be doing on the band structure calculation. अभिनव इसका इंटरनेट चला गया है लैपटॉप का नेटवर्क कनेक्शन में नेटवर्क चला गया है सर वहां से देखो वाईफाई कौन सा है इसका कर दो ये नहीं है ये ये ये
डेटा खत्म हो गया ना मेरा पासवर्ड नहीं है लंबा थोड़ा सा नहीं तो मैं मैं कर मेरा मेरा कनेक्टेड Starting in soon, okay, because this laptop is getting getting trouble. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm getting started. Okay, now we are starting. Okay. 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 Now, uh, please all see on the screen. Now I will tell you something about the band calculation. We already covered dust calculation, but you are more than welcome to repeat your calculation. Okay, even after this uh, session, we will end. And if supercomputer is running 24/7, so you can log in at any time in your convenient. Okay. So okay, works are finished. I I, I don't have to do. Is it, do not tell that. <laughs> okay, let, let's go on the band calculation band file. There are a few files already here ready to go. Then you are encouraged to study this. At least I will tell you something. First, SCF file is same as the we use for the NSCF calculation. Sorry, DOS calculation. And NSCF file is slightly different here. Let me show you the the main difference is NSCF file. Okay. So therefore, I am showing NSCF. In the control section, this is same like in when sorry in DOS. Okay. And here I am doing velocity is equal to I, so that I will know how many bands are calculated. Otherwise, it will just finish, and then we will know that calculation has been finished. But before that, I want to read from the output that how many bands were calculated. And others are essentially same, except the K point. K point is entirely different here in band calculation. Okay, this is the major change than DOS calculation and other type of calculation. What I am doing is the unit is different. First of all, before it was automatic and using a Monkros packet kind of algorithm for calculating the K point grid. But here we are, the grid is not uniform. Rather, we are walking on a path. Is special by stepping on the special points in the K point grid. So these are the high symmetry points. Like this, this is gamma point, and this is x point. This is u point, k gamma l w x. Okay, and first, the first value of eight, which is line number thirty-three, is the how many symmetric, high symmetric k points we are using. That is the number of here eight. And if you really subtract forty-one from thirty-four, you will get eight anyway. So there are eight cube. K points here, and from going gamma point to x point, I am dividing that into ten steps. Okay, there will be ten point. Later on, we can count this in the output file. And from x point to u point, I am going fourteen with a fourteen division. And I pause in a u point. There, here is one. Okay, the pause will be very visible. And I started new one from point K, which is which coordinate is this in a reciprocal space. And from K point to gamma point, I am dividing into 18 steps. And I reached gamma point. From gamma to L, I went with 18 points again. 
and from L to W, high points, and W to X, high points, and I pause in X point, which is 1. Okay, this is how it is done. And this particular information, how I got this 10 value and why here is 14, why here is 18, and why 5, is a proportional to the distance. If you know three dimensional geometry, coordinate geometry, then you can easily calculate the distance between this 0, 0, 0 and 0. 0.5000. 0, 0. Okay, this is just a root under x, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square will give that value. And if you cannot remember that, I have made your life easier by writing a photo for distance dot f90 right here okay this is a small function or distance called distance and a is a vector 1 by 3 and b is another vector or another point okay it will calculate distance between these two points a and b so this is the actual calculation is performed here according to that distance formula and i am calling this function in a main dot f90 which is a a unique style of doing Fortran calculator for programming. Yeah, I told I forgot to tell you that I am a Fortran programmer mainly and C as well. So in this main file I am calling distance as an external function. Okay. And user have to give the coordinate of this A and B point and finally the system will calculate the distance. Okay. This is how it is. And there is make file is already there to compile. You just have to make. Make file I have written already. Make file is also here. So you just have to download the repo and then type make and it will compile these things right here. I will show you in a while. And let's back to the nscr.in file. It is running is not a big deal because everything is ready here. Just understanding is little bit of knowledge. So what obviously you can see that from this is the gamma point 0, 0, 0. this is 0 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. So the distance between these two points are 0 0.5 unit. It is very easy to calculate because this is the just one point. So 14. I divided. If the distance is 0.5 unit, then I have to divide into 14 division. Okay, this is the rule here I made in the first partition. So and then I I went like this and sorry to 10 division. 0.5 unit is equal to 10 division. And from x to u point, there are 0.7 division. So I put 14 here. Okay, this is just by that rule. And in u, there is a pause. So there is 1 here. From u to k, there are, this is obviously a longer distance. This point to, this point is longer distance. And if you calculate the distance, it is 0 0.9 unit. 0 0.9 means the, the, I should divide into 18 parts in that section. And from k to gamma again 0 0.9 part unit close to. So I again divided into 18. But gamma to this point, gamma to L is also 18. But L to W is not that far if you see carefully. Because this point is same, this point is same. The distance is 0 between the on the perspective of S value. On the perspective of Y, there is 0 0.25 unit only. Because Z, Z value is also same. So here the distance is 0 0.25 unit. Therefore you are dividing that section into 5 parts only. Okay. And the same follows for the W to S distance. So this is how we have to keep the partitions from the each transition between the high symmetry K points. And the last column of this um, K point. The first column is S value of each point and second column is y value of each k y and z value is each k y and the last column is the divisions how many divisions you want suppose you can double this division accordingly also such as this would be 20 and this would be 28 okay so in the same way but one will be always one <laughs> okay so don't make one to two that, that will be a problem and this a2 will go 36 this is 36 this is 10 10 and one will remain again one. This is how you can make your k point increase little finer also. But it, it doesn't help your calculation. It is just the you want more points on your 
band calculation. Okay. Later on, when you have to differentiate band and calculate the electron velocity and uh, electron mobility and uh, mass, electron mass, then you need these points really close. This 10 will not help here on that case. Here you probably need 50 on that case. Okay, and that will be go to 5 times, I mean 70, so 14, 5 plus 70. This is how you have to, you may increase the points like this. But right now, our purpose is to not to compute the electron velocity or electron mass on the band, so we are fine with these points also. Okay. So now let me go to the next part. After you do SCF calculation and NSCF calculation with this kind of band scheme, you will have to, you will need another point file called band.in which is here. It has just four lines. It is hard to believe that it is, the input is really small. Just define your output directory that is dot slash and where you want to store your band data. That is the two things only you require. Now let me see the Solarum file. I probably have addressed all these things in a Solarum file. Let me see what I have written. I am not going 1 to 7 because these are the same thing, repeated content. Module loading also same, 7.0 of quantum espresso. What I did is, I first performed SCF calculation using 4 CPUs in parallel. And I did NSCF calculation using the same number of CPU. By the way, when you do NSCF, SCF calculation parallel, uh, what kind of K point and uh, PW division, same approach should be taken for the NSCF calculation also. Okay? Therefore, NK is equal to 1, here also same, here also same, here also same. These numbers should not change for SCF and NSCF. And here, I am actually calculating that it will extract the band from those NSCF data. Okay, this last line number 15 will basically extract. It is not computationally heavy, just a one minute hardly. The number 15 will take around one minute or even less. It, its work is read that NSCF calculation and extract the band energy values for each K point. That is the that is performed by band attacks. So let us do it and then finally band plot. How you plot the band data using GNU plot is here. First let me show you the plot first and then it is easy to convince you how it is being calculated. So all of we know that, uh, let me slightly degrees. Yes, I think it is visible or maybe let me increase one more percentage, okay good. So we all know that uh, silicon is an indirect band gap material that is clearly visible in this band spectrum. The first value is gamma according to that uh, NSCF dot in and I am on the y axis we, we can see energy on the x axis it is a k vectors okay k points but instead of doing value of those k points I am writing symbol like gamma x k u and gamma l x okay these are the symbols for that um, high symmetry k points. For silicon the conduction band minimum is set to zero sorry valence band maximum is set to zero and you see the conduction band minimum is 8 point s what is this mean it is a uh, indirect band gap in other materials conduction band minimum also occurs in the gamma point or or same k point if that happens it is a direct band gap material and if that does not happen it is called indirect band gap material and it is well visualized in this band gap. This is how the significance of band plot is. Okay. The, therefore, in order to study the material, we investigate its bands. The main idea is whether it is direct band gap or indirect band gap. And in some materials application, we prefer direct band gap material. In some materials application, we prefer indirect band gap. Such as in solar cell, if you have to make solar cell, indirect band gap material is good but if you want to make transistor let's say direct band gap is good therefore we hardly see silicon transistor for major applications we use MOSFET because they have the different kind of semiconductor which has direct band gap okay otherwise 
some energy will lost or more voltage is required to operate those devices so they are not uh, quite applicable in those electronics but in solar cell we require indirect winding up because that can hold electrons for a while because transition path is a little bent first electron has to come here and jump to this point okay so this is not a direct position and a phonon will come and strike here electron and then it will jump to the balance band from the conduction band so phonon assist assistance is required here so that we can hold electron in conduction band for a while and there are certain applications they prefer this kind of mechanism therefore we need to study the band, band structure okay let's now let's and others okay plot file is um, we have to study let me explain you plot file also a little bit how the meaning of each line generally the up to line 8 it is a um, information about the file itself and this is encoding this is the first time i am encoding here because i need to use some symbols okay because uh, k points are not in number therefore i need to write some encoding and this is the encoding number iso8859 underscore 15 because I googled a lot and figured out this information. And post script file again line number 2 will is definition of your canvas, fonts, size, okay, it, etc. And this is the output file bands.ps is my output file. And key of means I don't need to label the uh, line here so I can do that off. And x range you can de define. And how do I know this x range? Because I look the value on the bench.out file and I know that the maximum starting value is 0 and maximum value is 3.4692 and similarly I figured I want to plot my band between plus minus 5 okay plus minus 5 is good enough and some reference value y0 is equal to 0 0.2 I have written here later on th that that will come why I did it I defined that variable and I am setting y axis range from y min to x min. That means minus 5 to plus 5 is my range of the energy in y axis. And I need a couple of arrows here because every symmetric band, every symmetric k point, I am making a vertical line. Okay, These lines are defined in this section. Like set arrow from 0 0.5 to y min, means um, minimum value of y, to 0 0.5 to maximum. So it will give you essentially a vertical line because I am not changing x value but changing y value. That means it's a vertical line. Okay. And I am not putting arrow head for the arrow. No head means it will not put that angle sign on the and LW means line width, LT means line type and front means bring that line on the front so that it will not masked by the line later on, the actual band. Therefore I bring that line to the front and everything is done like this and they are all these are from line 19 to 23 they are those vertical lines on the plot you were just before seen and set this command will do is set zeros x z zeros is uh, th that is a special command it will set those y axis uh, x, x zeros okay that will set x zeros and set border that means uh, my plot has some border so that and uh, border with a line width 2 and on set x takes because i want to put a symbol instead of line on the x axis okay k value has number has no meaning but the symbol has more meaning like gamma point x point l point u point k point w there are so many symbols and this is the canvas size 0 0.85 and 1 that is the uh, size of that uh, canvas and labeling you see this label is particularly useful to define a gamma point and the first which is it instead of zero zero value i am enforcing to write a gamma symbol okay this is what i am doing here and instead of 0.5 x position and y position y means minus zero means slightly below the line lower line of the plot I am writing x symbol so in every point I am defining y, slightly decreasing y0 means the minimum line is just below okay let, let me and similarly other follows 
an actual plot and I am defining balance band maximum here the value and how I am incorporating this is on the fly I am subtracting that value in a GNU plot inside. Actually I have to plot this line this plot file using one is to second column but from the second column I am subtracting balance band maximum on the fly means dollar two is a second column in a GNU plot and minus BBM means I am subtracting the balance band maximum this way I am doing everything on the fly using GNU plot okay possibly this can be done using yes uh, XM grace also but I am not that expert in XM grace so like it and these you already know I am converting PS file into PDF file okay now let me go back one more time to the plot itself Okay, you see, the symbols are slightly below this line, the bottom line of the plot. And that corresponds to y min minus y0. Therefore, these symbols are slightly down. And if you are not preferred this and you want to slightly push further, then increase the value of y0 and that um, is script, plot is script, okay. And in some cases, my actually k and u point are same here, but I have to separate them sli slightly more, more visible. Otherwise, this is the same line because I took a pause. If you remember, I took a pause on the k point, okay, by putting one on the weightage. So, u point is also same. So, uh, if I do not do adjust, they will put on the same location, and you can distinguish um, these two points. So, I have to slightly move left and right those two symbols, k and u symbol, and this is also gamma point, l point, x point. Okay, this is how, and I am I am also drawing a horizontal line at the energy is equal to zero line that means balance band maximum I am putting a um, horizontal line to make the plot more visible okay this is how I have done and now let us possibly uh, you might have already submitted your job to the supercomputer let me see mm -hmm. yeah cd storage zero d o i t Yes, I am that. Yes, I think. Let me delete PDF file, okay? Just to make sure I in indeed did the new job. Otherwise, you might tell me that you have already that file, <laughs> and you are showing me old old band structure, okay? So I deleted in front of you, and if you. You can combine these files, okay? Because these two files are there, and my file is there. Anyway, I gave you enough idea, and code is here. You can play later on on your own time. So I perhaps did not submit it. Sir, let me do the sub sub calculation. It doesn't take much time anyway. Take a little while to populate as here cut out. Yeah, I think must be done. Yeah, it takes only 11 seconds. And by the way, there are two time. okay? One is actual time is spent engaged CPU engaged time. This is the our clock on the wall engaged time when the job started running and finished running this is the wall time and this is the cpu time means actual cpu is utilizing time so there is the time might be different here this difference is because some data has to return on the hard drive and during that time cpu will wait for that to finish therefore the wall time is higher than the cpu time here okay but in gpu calculation later on you might check Actually, wall time is smaller than the CPU time because of the fast calculation is performed there. Okay, now my calculation is finished everything. Let me invoke the GNU plot. GNU plot, VAND dot plot. That's what you have to do and I am done. Now you will see a PDF file here because I deleted that file in front of you. Where is that file? Yes. Okay. It is regenerated. I showed you right before I am not cheating anything here. It was confirmly deleted before. 
so let us check that file again possibly i have to reconnect again here sftp Okay, now I am going to the band folder. Okay, to see the plot that which I was I have deleted already, and it is regenerated using the actual calculation. So you see, it is now indeed I reconstruct my plot. Okay, so and here you can clearly see that the material is indirect band gap. Okay, this is the main uh, purpose of this band calculation. Yeah. So for any questions or difficulties, let me know and I will just visit your table in the meantime and let me pause the recording.